Cheers, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to another episode of My Pathetic Life as a Homeowner. Uh, if you're new and watching this video, grab yourself a beer and watch me go through some misery and hopefully you can learn a little bit. This video is a maintenance video. Once again, it's always maintenance versus progress and maintenance usually, usually wins. I gotta power wash the driveway, but I'm gonna do a video comparing the cheapo power washers, discs or surface cleaners as some call it. I've had a pretty good run with these and uh, I'm just gonna do a quick review to help you guys out and go from there. But before I do that, uh, I'm gonna draw a dick in my driveway. Why? I don't know, just for fun. Let's do that and then we'll get back to the review. Cheers. All right, did it work? I think it worked. Let's see what happens from the uh, above. I think it looks good. All right, let's get back to the review. Cheers. All righty, six hours later, driveway is done. The dick is gone. Um, and I'm pretty much on my, I think, 10th, 10th Miller Lite. So I'm tired of shit, I'm exhausted. I feel like I got vibration from the uh, pressure washer, but let's get down into these nitty gritty little freaking discs, surface cleaners slash easy clean versus Karcher. Okay, here's the deal, all right? I've had, let me put it this way. I've bought this one. This is my third one, okay? I bought this at uh, Home Depot. Um, I think you can get it on Amazon. I will post a link to it, but I'm realistically I shouldn't post a link to it because I'm gonna talk a bunch of shit about it. Um, yes, so this these are both of these are extremely cheap. This one's like 50 bucks. This one's like uh, I feel like it's 65 or something like that as I speak right now. But there's a fundamental difference between these two, and I want to point that out so you guys understand it and don't make the same mistake that I did. All right, the fundamental difference is the bearing, okay? I'm gonna flip this around. I'm gonna flip this one around, all right? At the end of the day, they both work. And to be perfectly honest with you, these things are fucking amazing. And if you are pressure washing your patio or whatever, or your driveway like I was earlier, these things make the job go 10 times faster. The problem with these things is when you get into the cheap side of things is the bearing, okay? This bearing, this little, this thing spins. Both of these spin, right? And that's the whole, that's how they work, okay? Now, the thing is, these things are in an insanely harsh environment. Uh, I don't know if you guys are technical or not, or not but um, they sit in like an IP69 pressure environment, right? So these bearings will go okay there's no question about it don't even bother fucking trying to go into a higher end one the bearings are in a terrible environment they will go now the problem with the cheapo ones are not the problem necessarily but one thing i want to point out is the insanely cheap ones you cannot like this one right here you cannot replace this bearing i've been through three of these now um, and it always happens to be the, the bearing goes at the wrong time and I have to rush to Home Depot to get a replacement and then finish my driveway, etc, etc. Okay, so this one right here, this fucking easy scene right here where you get at Home Depot or online uh, has a shitty bearing that you can't replace, okay? Shitty bearing being, I think it's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's nylon, okay? It seems like it's spinning nicely right now, but once you add pressure to it, it just starts to bog itself and it spins very slowly and it doesn't work. Okay, this is garbage. Easy clean, I might as well just throw it in the lake. I will throw this out after this video, to be honest with you. All right, this is why I went with this Karcher, okay? 
same 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 situation bearings are gonna blow it's just it's just the way it is it's literally literally living in a shitty environment where it's just getting pressure washed and pressure washed the difference between this one and that pile of shit right there is you can replace the bearings on this one i'm not i don't know if you're gonna be able to see but there's a little um uh, i can't think of the snap ring and then a bearing okay you can replace the bearings on this i will say this this one has like this little nut here and then on this other side here which you have to kind of tighten sometimes it loosens up and it kind of gets annoying but at the end of the day you can replace this bearing and once you replace the bearing it's only like five bucks to do which i'll post the link in the description below to replace the bearing for this thing but it makes it easier to deal with than replacing the entire thing for 50 bucks like I did three times on this motherfucker right here. So that is why I went with this one. I will post a link to this on Amazon. Uh, so if you are in the world of trying to do your patio and um, you are looking for a cheap uh, surface cleaner, I would highly recommend this one because you can replace the bearing. That's the big thing, key, replacing bearings. Now, the other thing I'm gonna mention is you might as well buy yourself one of these while you're ordering this, if you're ordering it, because WD-40, I get it. I know you're going to shit on me. It's WD-40, the worst fucking lubricant you can possibly put into it. I get it. I get it. Totally understand it. But however, it, it you know what? When you're, in a, when you're doing your driveway or whatever and it starts to slow down, to be honest with you, just give it a little squirt of WD-40, spin it a bit, and uh, it'll get back going again until you can replace the bearing. So... Buy this, buy that, and buy a bag of bearings, which I'll post down below. And uh, you will be set, and you will not have any issues. So, that's that. I am tired of shit. It's time for a fucking beer. Hope you appreciated the video. Subscribe if you enjoyed it. On to my next battle, and we'll go from there. Cheers.